Hello, this is Lisa Greenlee with Casa de Greenlee Art. Um, today I'm going to do a rainbow um, pride painting. I usually do this one on white, um, but I'm going to try it on a black base. And one of the things I did was I added this um, Liquitex Basics Acrylic Iridescent Medium to all the paints. And I mixed them in little tiny cups separately so I could add this. This gives a really great... Um, sparkle to your paint so if you have a matte paint that you want to add a little sparkle to this is wonderful stuff to do that the paints that i'm using today is i had a little um amsterdam expert acrylic pyrrole red i don't know how to pronounce that and then i'm using orange marbleade by porridge posse paint primary yellow by holbein acrylic Emerald Green by Amsterdam Acrylic. Cobalt Blue by Liquitex Basics. And finally, Windsor and Newton Gallery um, Windsor Violet. And it looks like I'm going to need to shut my windows because there's a lot of light in here before I pour the black background. All right, my base is down, the bubbles are popped, the sides are done. I think I am going to use my um, Deco Art 24 karat gold as my highlight today. Start here with the red. The big issue I always have with doing these paintings is making sure that I have enough spacing in between. That is always my biggest challenge. So I'm not bunching up colors and they're not running together too awful much. And getting them even across the canvas. So I do orange here, yellow, green, blue and purple. So orange here. Yellow. Green. Blue. Oops. Got that blue dripped a little bit over here. And last but not least, the purple, Windsor Violet. We'll put that about right there. Oh, it's a little chunky. Okay. bubbles out. All right.
Alrighty. Hey, I think I'm actually gonna have a painting I don't have to scrape. What a miracle. This actually looks really good on the black background. That blue didn't get spread around very well. Let's see if I can move that a little bit more. Alrighty then, I will come back when it's dry and give you guys a look. Here is the painting dried. Thank you for watching.